Yo, what's up there guys? This is Immersive Game 83 and thank you very much for stopping by. Today, I'm going to be getting on something called VR Clay. And I've only had a quick look at it, but so far I've been really, really impressed with it. And hopefully you will be too. You do need a Razor Hydra to actually get it to work. But, okay, we'll just, uh, uh, rather than me talking too much about it, I'll just get on with it and just show you sort of what I've seen so far. Okay, so look forward and press any button. And I'm pressing the button on the Razor Hydra now. Okay, so that has now brought us into what is like a, it's a 3D plane, but it's a completely empty plane to be honest. So there's not a lot else going on in this in this space at the moment, you know. Um, but you can you can look look around freely, and everything's everything's really cool. Um, it says point the left controller at the base of the of the Hydra, and there we go. So I'll point it at the, at the base. Press the left controller. Uh, sorry, left trigger, bang. Do the same with the right. Okay, so I'm going to put both of them up towards my shoulder and then press both triggers. Okay, so that's just, I've got, you can kind of see the Razor Hydras now. They're quite, they're a little bit small actually, they look a bit tiny, but they're basic Razor Hydra controllers. Um, that, I wouldn't be surprised if they're actually made in here. Um, Okay, so, so far, all, we can, all we've got is like a massive big ball, but with this left hand, I can grab it, I can move it around, I can spin it, and it's got some controls here. If Once you get familiar with the controls, you can actually turn them off, but because I don't know what I'm doing properly, I'm going to leave them on and uh, refer to them. Left stick, you can kind of move around a little bit. Uh, not massive amounts, but you can kind of, say you've moved it over there, you can kind of move over here to actually work it on it. Um, yeah, so basically, I'll show you a few bits on it. Uh, I'm normally pretty good at this sort of thing. I'm not. I'm not an expert, and it's the first time I've actually used the applications. So you know, don't expect miracles. Uh, okay, so the yellow button is build up tool. Okay, and this is probably going to take me a little while to be honest. So I'll probably speed it up. So uh, if if I do speed it up, and, and I, you know, the audio might be out a little bit out of, out of place as well. So anyway, let's just get on with it. I think I'm going to make a scary alien. So let's see what we can do. Uh, using the right stick, you can change the power and also the, the radius. So I reckon maybe that. And use the trigger, you can kind of set what you want and then kind of move it around. This is pretty cool actually. Oh, because it's got that big line on the mirror, middle as well, it's actually mirroring what's going on. So you can actually mirror. And you can smooth everything out as well, so don't worry about making mistakes and stuff, because you can smooth everything out. Yeah, so that's probably a good point to leave it now. But anyway, just to give you a kind of idea as the sort of stuff you can do, you can literally create pretty much anything. And yeah, I mean, this is the first time I've actually used it. So I'm sure I'll get more used to it. And I'm sure I'll be able to make more complex things in future. So all in all though, pretty good. You know, I might even build, I might even build on him in the future. I might save it, see what goes on. Yeah, I'm very impressed so far. This is very, very cool. The things you can actually do with this technology. 
you know, you can kind of do anything you want, really. So, yeah, so th if you enjoyed this, I really appreciate you, uh, you know, you smashing that like. If you'd like to see me create anything in the future, or if you've got anything you'd like me to have a attempt at having a go at, maybe going from reference and drawing something on a picture, let me know, man. Let me know. And uh, yeah, this, by the way, is called uh, VR Clay, and the, the beta is available for download for anyone who's got a Razor Hydra and a DK2. So yeah, I'd love to. I'd love to hear your opinions on it, and uh, you know. If you've got any tips and tricks for me, I, I wasn't too sure how to get the eyes going on, so I kind of like just bodged it. But you can kind of see that they're supposed to be eyes, the sort of light. But yeah, um, I was quite happy with how the body turned out as well. You know, sort of quite low fat. You can kind of see that they are humanoid sort of thing. Quite, quite big brains, little bodies. You know, intelligent species sort of thing. Yeah, man. Anyway. That's probably enough for now, so thank you so much guys for watching this, I really hope you enjoy it, and yeah, uh, hope to see you on the next video, that's Immersive Gamer 83, take care, bye bye.